Before we get back to the music, we've got a very special guest. Each week, we're going to feature someone from around Detroit, someone making a difference in our city. And this week, we're proud to feature the very well-known Detroiter, Phil Cooley, co-owner of the very popular Slow's Barbecue, as well as an entrepreneur, developer, and all-around Detroit presence. Welcome, Phil. Thank you so much for having me, Al. How are you doing? I'm doing great. Did you get a chance to see that first half? I did. It was amazing. Yeah, it was wonderful. And, uh, you're, you're very busy. you got a lot of stuff going on. Do you have much time to make it down to Orchestra Hall to see the shows? You know, um, I, I, I need to make more time because this, this has been really inspiring. You know, the, the Tiger game went a little late. I was a little fuzzy getting here, and now I'm so energized, and it was really you know, just inspiring to see. Cool. Uh, Orchestra Hall has been located here for 90 years, and... Uh, one of our newest neighbors is uh, the outpost for your hugely popular Slows. Uh, you got Slows to Go in Midtown, which is right here next to Orchestra Hall. Um, how's the Midtown scene been for Slows to Go? Midtown's great. You know, the walkability is, is just wonderful, this neighborhood. But, you know, I guess it's just an exciting time to be in Detroit in general. We, we love being in Corktown. We love every nook and cranny. The neighborhoods really make this city. And, you know, for everything from Brightmore to downtown, there's just something happening everywhere. And, uh, so we're, we're really lucky to be where we are and just really having a good time. You've, you've done a lot. You're part of a lot of projects for the redevelopment of the Corktown area. It started with Slows, uh, the, the restaurant there that I can't get into anymore. But thank God for Slows to go. That's okay. We'll get in there sooner or later. But is there any more uh, plans to do any more uh, redevelopment in the Corktown area that you're involved with? Well, yeah, definitely. I mean, we're working on a building called Pony Ride right now, which is kind of an incubator for kind of arts and craft space. Um, and the other thing that we, you know, are really excited about is that a, a lot of folks are, you know, doing, uh, you know, great business, uh, some, you know, even better than us we, when we love to see that, uh, the success of Astro Coffee and Sugar House just open up and see those places packed, um, you know, just shows that there's far more demand uh, in Detroit than there is supply. So we, we look forward to more neighbors and, and keep, you know, keep seeing people be successful here. There's a, uh, the entrepreneurial spirit in Detroit's huge right now. A lot can happen. It's sort of a blank slate. Uh, what, what do you tell people that want to maybe venture into Detroit to do some work here? Well, you know, for me, it's 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 about for you know if I can be successful here, anyone can be successful here, and it's not necessarily you know just just attracting people in. We need to you know I think retain the amazing talent that we have here. So it's really about just sharing these stories in our community because there's you know tremendous um, uh, success stories here, but not everyone knows it, and so. When, when, you know, you see that it happens in your neighborhood, uh, you know, sometimes you may, you know, you believe yourself and go out and do it, you know, because it's, uh, it's very rewarding to be here. And, it, and it's, um, you know, like I said, if a, a guy who dropped out of business school can open a very successful restaurant, you know, I think more people have the ability as well. So. Well, you're doing great in this town, Phil. Thanks for everything you do. Thanks for spending some time with us and enjoy the rest of the concert. See you around.